Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Creators, in today's video, we are going to show you how to upload your digital products on Shelfie, which is a popular platform for selling and distributing digital goods. Whether you're an artist, writer, musician, or creator, any kind of that, Shelfie provides a seamless way to monetize your digital creation. So let's dive right in and learn how to upload your digital products in Shelfie in 2023. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser or whatever preferred browser you have in your PC. For me, I'm just going to use this Brave browser, but of course in your case you can use any other browser you have or you want to. Once you open this, go to this URL section, simply type shelfie.com and hit the enter button. So then you'll find yourself here in this home screen or main screen. As you can see, on this selfie, you'll be able to sell your products hassle-free. Easy to use e-commerce for creators, sell merchandise, or digital products all from one place. Of course, you can know a lot about this uh, site if you scroll down here and read all of that. But for us, of course, if you have an account, you can simply click on login to login into your account. And if you don't have an account, make sure to click on start free trial and make sure to create your account from theirs. Of course, if you want to see any price and you can see, or go here and see that. And if you want to see all the features, you can click here and see everything. For me, I'm just going to log in into my account. As you can see, once you log in into your account or you just created your account, you'll find yourself on the dashboard right here. And of course, from here, you'll have to set up your accounts by verifying your email address, add your product, or customize your store, connect payments gateway, and select your plan. For me, as an example, uh, or as we said in the beginning of this tutorial, is we would like to show you how to upload your digital products on Shelfie. If you want to do so, go to this left panel, click on products, and as you can see, you'll find this add new products at the top right corner. Click on it, and as you can see, you will be able to upload your digital products from here. You can even upload the print on demand, subscription, physical products, or free buy. So as you can see, digital products, upload ebooks, music, videos, software, or anything else, digital. So simply choose this option. And as you can see here, you'll have to add your products file. So simply you can browse that on your computer. You can select from uploaded already if you already uploaded on your site. For me, I'm just going to browse something from my computer. I'm just going to upload, let's say as an example, a picture. Why not? Uh, old man picture here I have it. So let's just upload. Of course, you can upload even more than one. As you can see, upload to uh, 15 files with a combined size of 10 gigabytes or fewer. So don't worry, you will be able to upload whatever you want. Of course, if it's more than 10 gigabytes, you will have to go, if it's separated, go and upload it on a lot of products. Or you can simply here uh, contact the customers to upload it elsewhere if you want. Then uh, simply you'll have to scroll down and here you will have to, you'll find of course the product files that you uploaded right here. You'll be able to download them. Of course, I'm not going to, or not going to be able to download them because I upload them from my computer. If you select them from the uploaded, you'll be able to download them if you want. Of course, you'll be able even to delete them if you uploaded something by mistake. Then if you scroll down a bit, you'll find this product details. Here you'll have to put a product name. As you can see, write a unique product name, max 100 characters, and a description. Be very descriptive, uh, descriptive sorry, about your products and help your customers understand what are they buying. So for me, as an example, here I'm just going to write, um, I don't know, old man, old man picture. Uh, because that's what the picture is about. As you can see, old man sorcerer with blue fire surrounding him and etc. So, and here you'll have to add, of course, the product description. Of course, whatever you write here. So, sorry, by the way, old, not old. So, whatever you write here, of course, that will be uh, on the URL. If people like entering to see the image or something like that, you will be prompted to this link. And of course, this link will include this name from here. So make sure to uh, add a good name because uh, good names also attract customers and bring customers to you. Uh, make sure so make sure to have or to add a good names that can attract customers. So here you'll have, as we said, to add the product description. So of course the product description, as you can see, it's gonna be this. As you can see, to achieve great SEO ranking, we recommend that you add a unique product description for each product and write at least 300 words per description. 
so you can increase your SEO ranking. And of course, this will help you rank higher in search or search engines and attract additional traffic for your product. So simply, as we said, or as they said here, we will have to add a description full of 300 words. Of course, as an example, if you don't have that description, so you can simply go and add your description. First of all, so this is an example, uh, just a good picture. So this is an example, that's our description. Of course, if you want to add more, you can simply go and add this as an example. So people will not read what's down here. And here as an example, you can simply write this, that's a word, this, that two words, this, this, let's say an example here, we're going to write 10 tests as an example, then simply you'll have to copy it and just go and keep pasting it over and over until you reach the 300 words so you can increase your SEO ranking. Once you're done with here, you can simply scroll down as an example and here you'll have to choose a products category. As you can see, use products categories to create different types or uh, groups for products or of products for your customers to view when shopping in your store. Categories are optional, so it's not mandatory. And to edit your categories, go to store settings. And of course, we don't care about editing right now. So simply go and choose a product category as an example. If you don't have any, you can simply add a new one. As an example, you can add a title. So for you, add a good title and a good slug. For me, I'm just going to write a test here. And slug as an example, testing. Why not? And of course, if you want it to be visible in your store, make sure to enable this option. If you don't want it, make sure to disable it. So simply do whatever you want and click on save. Then now you will be able to add it to a category and you will be able to snag additional uh, categories this product should appear in. As an example, if you don't have any, you can even add new as an example. I don't know, hello for me. And here, hi. Not visible and click on save. And here you'll be able to select it from here. And as you can see this, uh, because I make it like not appearing to my store, I will not be able to select this in this option, but I can even select this in this option as an example. Uh, so make sure to do whatever you want. And here you'll have to add a product preview. So whatever products here is just makes you add an image or preview of it. For me, I'm just going to add the same image because it's just one image. And simply here, you'll have to set the price. So simply here, set whatever price it is. As an example, let's say it's $20. And you can even enable this option of paying whatever you want because some people uh, could pay or want to pay more. So enable this option if they want to pay more. Of course, they cannot pay less than this because that's the least option. And of course, if you have unlimited stock, make sure to enable this. If you don't, make sure to disable it and type here whatever uh, number of stock you have. So simply unlimited, just a picture. And you can even add some variant if you want. Once you finish, you can simply uh, choose if you want it to be visible in your store or if you want to require the billing address, do whatever suits you, then click on save products and you will be good to go. So if you reach this place, congratulations. You've learned how to upload your digital products on Shelfie or Selfie on in 2020. With Selfie user-friendly interface and customizable settings, you can easily showcase and sell your digital creations to a global audience. Remember to optimize your product listing with compelling descriptions and high-quality images and accurate pricing to attract customers, of course. And if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks like this one on digital products, creation, and online selling. Thanks for watching, and best of luck in your digital sales on Selfie. And I will see you in the next one.